Hi guys, hope you're doing well. Bless Shelly here. Welcome to this reading where we're going to be taking a look at unexpected life changes that are coming your way within the next two months. This is a timeless reading, so whenever it finds you, that's the exact right time for you to hear the messages within this reading. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at today's options. I chose to work with quartzes today. Option number one, you guys get the clear quartz. Option number two, pink quartz. And option number three, Smoky Quartz, wants to work with you today. To see which option you're mostly drawn to, don't overthink it. If you do need a bit more time to make a decision, pause the video. So we're about to go ahead and get started with option number one. Option number one, hi and welcome to your reading, guys. Get comfy. Let's go ahead and get started. As I'm shuffling the cards, say your name out loud or in your head. It helps you connect to the energies of the reading. Let's find out what unexpected life changes are coming your way within the next two months. Mm -hmm. The High Priestess wants to be your friend here. High Priestess wants to give you a lot of information through your intuition. She wants to open your eyes to a lot of situations and a lot of people, giving you the clarity that you seek, subconsciously having been attracted to the energy of the clear quartz. It looks like for a lot of you, you're going to be getting very comfortable with your intuition, with your psychic powers over here, with your extrasensory powers as well. You're going to be noticing how your body reacts to people. You're going to be noticing what your Intuition is telling you about certain things. But I think the biggest change over here is that you are going to find out the information that was purposefully kept from you by one person or a group of people. It was purposely hidden away from you. And the High Priestess is coming over here within the next two months. And it's interesting, we're talking about two months. And within the next two months with number two over here, you might have been seeing a lot of twos and you'll be seeing even more messages. You'll be seeing a lot more numbers. Twos, elevens, sevens, threes are coming through. And the High Priestess, she's on your side. So you will be led into a lot of secrets that will give you the clarity as to where, where you want to take a certain relationship or just what you want to do about a particular situation. And especially if you are in a situation, the High Priestess is going to reveal like secrets to you. Your intuition will be proven right over and over and over again. And you will start learning more about yourself, about people, about the world. This is a beautiful card. I see you getting more connected to the unseen realm. You might find yourself incredibly drawn to rituals incredibly drawn to tarot cards incredibly drawn to other divination tools your dreams are going to be becoming more vivid bringing you information and the clarity that you seek because you option number one at this particular moment a lot of information is being hidden from you and the high priestess comes through to say enough it is time for you to see things clearly And it does come with some disappointment over here because it looks like there's some people in your life that you wanted to expect the best from them. You wanted to, you might have been looking for an excuse for their behavior or you might have thought that there was something wrong with you or that you were doing something wrong and the high priestess is coming in into your life to let you know no. It wasn't about you. It was about other people. 
And it's time for you to know the truth. It's time for you to see the truth. Crystal clear. This is what they keep repeating. Crystal clear. It all becomes crystal clear. And for some of you, I'm not going to lie, it's going to be a little bit disappointing. Because you, um, you might have expected something more from other person or other people. But it's also incredibly liberating over here. Because they're showing me that for some of you, you're going to be able to walk away from a particular situation. And they're saying, once you know the truth, you would have avoided a situation that got even worse. So here, it's like the energy of a near miss, even, for some of you. But if you are somebody who's already quiet, in tune with your intuition, this is an indication of um, your skills, your talents, going even deeper. Yeah? Especially if you do things like tarot, astral travel, um, regression therapy, hypnosis. It's being able to gain access to even more information. For a lot of you, I'm also seeing that here with the energy of this gorgeous card, you're going to be able to deal with a lot of suppressed emotions. Suppressed emotions, repressed memories. And it could also be that you find yourself incredibly drawn to things like psychology, studying the human behavior, studying the subconscious, and it changes your life completely because you gain understanding that you didn't have before. So for some of you, I'm literally seeing you guys um, connecting with people who study psychology, connecting with people who do regression therapy, hypnosis, who do rituals, who do, um, <laughs> what I want to say, <laughs> who do, who do, um, but no, I'm only kidding. Yeah, but I don't know, maybe for some of you, why not? Um, who do a lot of things that help people navigate through life. Depth, clarity, cleansing is coming through into your life as well. Mm -hmm. Overall, guys, with the energy of the Four of Swords, there is a clear indication that within the next two months, you're going to be getting so many messages in your meditations. And it's going to give you that peace of mind. That peace of mind. With the four wands, this is gorgeous. Because this helps you restore your health, your well-being. This helps you uh, look at things calmer. Yeah? This calms you down. This whole energy of option number one, it's like it's a very soothing energy. It's an energy that calms you down. It's the energy that allows you to have a peace of mind. So it does feel like there's a very important karmic lesson over here that you're going to learn, that you're going to pass with flying colors, the exam, but it might leave you a friend or two short, but they were never really friends and that's what you're going to see. They were never really lovers. A lot of you, um, you might be thinking that somebody's your soulmate or your twin flame or your significant other and you will get a lot of clarity but it's also freeing up space queen of wands gorgeous gorgeous it doesn't matter if you're male or female watching this but i want to say that here there's an awakening of sensuality mm -hmm. where you connect to your senses where you're no longer holding yourself back Because the Queen of Wands, she's incredibly vibrant, yeah? She stands out from the crowd. And it looks like you were kind of holding yourself back over here. And here you get the clarity 
on who you are. You get the peace of mind in being okay with being who you are. And it looks like there is going to be, for some of you, a change in the way that you look. You will crave radical changes. Whether it's in the way that you dress or the way that you do your hair or the way that you do your makeup. Or for some of you, it might even be more than that, where your sexual kundalini energy starts rising, right? And you completely change your behavior, uh, behavior um, towards the gender that you are attracted to in a good way. You're becoming more open to flirting. You're becoming more open to... Um, having fun, you're becoming more open to meeting new people over here. When it comes to your sex life, it looks like you guys are going to be more selfish in a good way, yeah? Where you're not just going to be about pleasing a partner or um, making sure that they feel a certain way, but you're also going to pay a lot of attention to how you feel. And the Queen of Wands, she has her ambitions. So overall, this energy, it has a very magical feel to it. A very much about awakening, a very much about reconnecting with your authentic self. Being able to express yourself. I'm seeing some of you, you might even buy yourself a crown over here. Just to remind yourself that you are a queen or you are a king or you know what I'm saying. And it feels so good because this is liberating. Look at her arms. Look at how she's not being afraid to be seen. If you are a tarot reader, if you are somebody who practices things that some people might not understand, it looks like you're going to be more open with it. Because here comes the energy of being okay with what you do. Being okay with Others not being okay with it. And not waiting for any validation for any, from anybody. And by letting go people over here with finding out certain truth, you create space for new romance over here. Because the Queen of Wands, she's up for it. Yeah, she's up for excitement. She's up for an adventure. But she has very high standards. And so do you, my darlings. Because I see that your standards, they're going to be very high. The Wheel of Fortune. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, lovely option number one. You're just like this magical pile today, aren't you? The Wheel of Fortune is when fate itself starts bringing good stuff your way. This is good luck. This is progression forwards. And it's not only in one thing, it's in loads of things. Because once you tap into this energy of you, your authentic energy, Gosh, within the next two months, the changes that are going to be happening, it feels like, you know, you haven't accomplished so many changes and you haven't accomplished this, like, forward, like, moving forward within the last 10 months of the year. And the last two, it's like, you're going the distance. You're going the distance. And that Wheel of Fortune is an indication that the universe itself is going to be helping you create better relationships form a new circle they're showing you like form a new circle form a new circle so i'm seeing that over here you're going to be meeting new people new people very good connections when it comes to your love life when it comes to your career as well because you're going to be networking you're going to be meeting people who are going to help you help you move forward help you progress But the amount of connection, the, the amount of, of like energy, if you could only see this, if you could only feel this, and I think a lot of you can, the High Priestess and the Wheel of Fortune combined, 
they can create a lot of things i'm also seeing the other important change that's going to be happening in your life option number one is your ability to bring things in is your ability to attract things into your life you're going to think about something it's going to come yeah and you're going to start off with small things and the messages that your, your spiritual team is sending you through numbers through signs through synchronicities through music through books they're going to be becoming much clearer and you'll be like, uh-huh, I understand, uh-huh, I understand. It's like you're joining forces with the energy of the high priestess. You're joining forces with the energies of the universe. You're no longer fighting the world or you're no longer feeling like the world is trying to suppress you or stop you or block you or punish you. No, here you're co-creating because it looks like, with, like you're finally finding your path. You're finally finding your calling. And it feels incredible. All right. Lovely option number one. That's what I have for you. Don't forget to claim the magic of this reading down in the comments below. If you're up for a personal reading, <clears throat> um, send me an email. The email is in the description box below. So it's the link to my Patreon page with more exclusive content, additional discounts, and much, much more. So make sure to check it out. All right, my darlings. Take care now. Bye. Option number two. Hi, and welcome to your reading, guys. Get comfy. Let's go ahead and get started. As I'm shuffling the cards, say your name out loud or in your head. Helps you connect to the energies of this reading. And let's find out what unexpected life changes are coming into your life within the next two months of this time of reading. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. For a lot of you guys, pack your bags. Pack your bags because it's almost like you're about to be catapulted into something new. It looks like you're going to be going by train, plane or car. And there's a feeling of, it's a bittersweet feeling that I'm getting over here. Within the next two months, you're going to make an important decision. Even if you have no opportunity right now, even if you don't plan to travel, Option number two, over here, travel is indicated. It might come unexpectedly, and it might be a decision that you make almost instantaneously based on your true desire. But here I'm seeing a travel, moving forwards, going on a spontaneous trip, going on a spontaneous um, journey, hideaway, getaway, however you want to call it. your friend or your partner might invite you but i'm seeing this such a beautiful energy of excitement for some of you you might be taking the train over here but it feels gorgeous within the next two months you're going to have an opportunity to either travel or relocate And with all of the sun rays that are coming through over here, it feels like it's something that's going to change your life long term. Let's take a look at how. Because here, what I'm seeing, it's just loads and loads of excitement. You're like, yes. Or should I? Shouldn't I? Should I? Shouldn't I? And something within you is like whispering, yes, you should. You know you want to. You know you want to. Because this is such a beautiful change of scenery such a gorgeous change of scenery that you, you're like in need of at this particular moment. To get away from the toxic energy, to get away from uh, the everyday routine, to get away from something. Like there's this energy of needing to get away. And you're not running away. It's not that, but you need to get away. You need to recharge. Mm -hmm. another eight came through over here for you okay so for quite a few of you my darlings this trip might have something to do with work mm -hmm. or it has something to do about finding a new job meeting people to help you move forwards if you have a business right now right or if you're thinking about starting a business they're showing me 
that there is going to be a fast and very swift growth movement it might again involve some sort of travel but the energies are absolutely gorgeous especially if you've been seeing aids lately and you've been thinking about moving forward with your career changing your career needing to take some time off of your work to reconsider what it is that you want to do but the two eights over here, it's like double the energy, double the energy. Because this change of scenery is going to help you put things together. You're putting the puzzle pieces together. Sometimes we're standing too close to something to be able to see what it is, to be able to see the full picture. And here they're like, you're going to be able to see things from afar. You're going to be able to get the bigger picture. You're going to be able to get a completely different perspective. And there's so much power and potential over here. Even though they're minor arcanas, they are still going to significantly impact your life. Absolutely. Here I'm seeing that there's a big increase in wealth. A very big increase in wealth, guys. Through this journey, through this moving forward. The Queen of Coins, she is, uh, when we're talking about minor arcanas, she is the wealthiest one. Yeah, when we're talking about money, when we're talking about prosperity, when we're talking about abundance. I'm seeing you meeting somebody, yeah, it could be a woman over here, <clears throat> who's going to be able to help you. It's kind of like, um, it will feel like it's an accidental meeting, but of course it is not, yeah. It feels like she's going to be able to share some sort of wisdom with you, to share some, some sort of wisdom, some sort of contract, contact with you. If you're uh, planning to travel somewhere for a job interview, yeah, it's going to go very successfully. Because this woman, she sees your potential. And she will feel like somebody heaven sent over here. Because she has a very motherly, very nurturing energy about her as well. But she knows her money, she knows her finances. She, this like, this lady, she is incredibly high class. And meeting her is going to be something that's fated, something that was meant to happen. And she gives you some really good advice. She gives you some really good contacts. She gives you some sort of guidance. Like a last puzzle piece that falls into place over here. Because she sees the potential of the Queen of Coins within you. Again, it doesn't matter if you're male or female watching this. We're talking about energies. Some of you might even be interested in, in like things like cryptocurrency or mining or um, natural resources. But there's definitely such a positive shift in your career, in your prosperity, in your finance, finances, all because of a trip, all because of what seems to be maybe unplanned. For some of you, it's going to be planned. For some of you, it's not going to be planned. But you definitely don't see this coming, yeah? And you do now, but <laughs> six of wands, the energy of victory. Gorgeous. You guys are going to win. Um, Six of Wands, this is when you guys have been in a lineup of some sort. Yeah. And you get the part, you get the job, you get the invite, you win. There's an energy of victory and energy of recognition. And once again, even if you're just working for yourself, this woman, she still comes in. 
and I don't know, she gives you a shout out somewhere or she recommends you to a friend and whatever it is that you do, it skyrockets. Because here you're being chosen from the other candidates. You're being like you stand out and you get the recognition with the energy of the Six of Wands. Okay, let's see what other, what other unexpected changes are going to be happening in your life within the next two months. The card would like to say anything else. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of you have been wondering about love, haven't you? Haven't you, my darlings? And here loves make, love makes an appearance. Hello, Mr. Knight of Cups. Do tell us your story. What's going on over here? Mm -hmm. Okay, option number two. Let me put it this way. You have somebody who really likes you, who thinks about you, who looks at you maybe from afar. For a lot of you, I see that this is somebody you might be working with. For a lot of you. This is a general reading. Keep that in mind. But... Romance is definitely, slowly but surely, making its way into your life. And for quite a few of you, this comes through unexpectedly. The energy of the Knight of Cups. For some of you, this journey will have something to do with meeting this person, or this person finally making their feelings for you known. Still, there's a very close connection to what it, whatever it is that you do. Show me more about this person. Oh, hello. I just love it when the emperor makes an entrance. It's interesting how he um, showed the <laughs> showed his feelings, but guys, this is no knight. This is no king even. This is the emperor himself. And when we're talking about the emperor, again, it could be a woman as well. But um, for most of you, I'm going to read it as a man. Um, it comes through as somebody who is incredibly authentic, incredibly powerful. Somebody who might be your boss or somebody who might have a very high position. This person feels very grounded. And I can't stop smiling. <laughs> I wish you could see, guys. I can't stop smiling because you are going to be incredibly happy meeting this person. And there's just the energy of peace that keeps coming through over here. And it could be your boss again. And it could be somebody who's um a very who has a lot of authority and they're going to make their feelings known to you straight away because um, it's either that they have had feelings for you for quite some time and they've hidden it or they they, they weren't like you know sometimes you you like somebody but you can't show it because of one way one reason or another and if it's a new person they're making their feelings known straight away because here this is somebody who acts who advances who makes um it makes their feelings and their intentions known. Okay. Will it turn into something? Oh my gosh, guys. For a lot of you, look at this. You're meeting your soulmate. And I don't know if you believe in soulmates or not. But this is how I'm reading it. The Page of Cups is the energy of romance. The Six of Cups is the energy of give and receive. It's the beautiful, calm, sweet energy. But it has a lot to do with the soulmates as well. Especially when it comes with this combination. Especially when it comes with the combination of the Three of Cups. You're emotionally opening yourself up. And it looks like for quite a few of you, my darlings, within the next two months, from whenever you're watching this, 
whenever this reading finds you, you might be meeting somebody who is meant for you. And they have a very strong emperor energy. Protective, grounded, very good looking, very good looking, by the way. And here begins this beautiful romance or communication. And I don't know, they give me like this humbling energy. It's absolutely gorgeous. Because here I'm seeing you going out on dates. Here I'm seeing you're talking, uh, even might be texting one another. He might be a little bit older than you are, or she. Just a couple of years. Nothing too serious. But like the, the talk, the talks, the, 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 uh, like, I don't know, guys, it's, it's just so romantic. Like I'm literally, I'm lost for words and maybe words aren't going to be needed because the energy is so intense and you kind of get one another on a soul level over here. Gosh, that's, that's absolutely gorgeous. It's interesting how we started with you packing your bags and uh, soon you might be choosing your wedding dress, right? <laughs> That's the way life works. All right, my darlings, I hope you enjoyed this reading that resonated. Claim its energy down in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. If you're up for a personal reading, send me an email. The email is in the description box below. So it's the link to my Patreon page with more exclusive content additional discounts and much much more so make sure to check it out all right my darlings take care now bye option number three and welcome to your reading guys get comfy and as i'm shuffling the cards say your name out loud or in your head helps you connect to the energies of the reading and let's see what unexpected life changes are coming into your life within the next two months of this time of reading. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. So with the energy of the smoky quartz, what they're telling me is that for quite some time, um, you might have been surrounded by a lot of toxic energy. It's like there's smoke in the air, you know? It's this energy of um, passive aggression, all of that thing where you don't really want to be. There's this vibe, they're showing me like there's a picture where a lot of people have been draining, draining you. Yeah? So when they need help, they make their way towards you. They're like, oh, this and this. And, and you help them. And you really listen to them. And you supported them. And when you needed that, it doesn't look like a lot of people came through. You might right now find yourself in a toxic environment at work or at home or with your flatmates. And this is what the Five of Swords is all about. But within the next two months, and it could even be talking about a country for some of you guys, it's as big as a country. A country where, you know, there might be some things going down there that you're not okay with that make you uncomfortable to say the least. And within the next two months, guys, with the energy of the Four of Wands, there's such a big shift. You consciously make a decision to get yourself out of this shitty energy. You're not waiting for somebody to do it uh, for you. You're not waiting for people to see that you are nice. You're no longer waiting for people to change. Because, you know, there's this thing. Never assume you can change somebody unless they're wearing diapers, right? And here you're like, you know what, F you, F all of you. And you take things into your own hands. And here I'm seeing you standing up for yourself. And saying that, you know what, I choose, I choose a different, I choose a different stage for my life performance. And you change the decorations, you change the narrative, you change a lot of things over here with the energy of the four of wands. Because you make a conscious decision and you follow through with it to get yourself out of this situation. Again, they keep saying you're not trying to change the situation because you realize it's useless. 
you're trying to change where you are in this situation are you in it or are you outside of it and you choose to be outside of it you choose peace <laughs> you know that saying she woke up today and she chose peace she woke up today and she chose happiness he woke up today and he chose joy and this is what you guys are going to be doing over here with the energy of the four of wounds because here you're making a conscious decision to meet new people to put yourself in a situation where you feel more accepted more comfortable more at home there's an energy of celebration there's an energy of stability with the energy of the four wands and i'm saying that you just change your mind and it's very much it's very important that you guys hear this like you make a decision to celebrate life i see you getting quite a few very good acquaintances over here either through groups like you guys are going to be more proactive you guys are going to be reaching out reaching out to people to people finding yourself more with people who who vibe like in the same like they have the same vibe as you you understand one another ten of cups gorgeous gorgeous all right so for some of you you chose you choose to get yourself out of a toxic situation with your family yeah because for sure over here you're looking to completely change the relationship dynamic when it comes to your relationships because you want something completely different for yourself you want happiness you want harmony you want joy you want acceptance you want abundance oh it feels really good for some of you guys i must admit i do see making up with a family member yeah family member and quite possibly a partner so if you are in no communication right now it's quite possible that you guys make up because i do say happy family over here love triumphs love prevails A change in the job over here, guys. There's a change when it comes to your job. Messages coming through um, from various employers offering you a position. You looking and you guys really finding. And those who seek will find. You know what this is such a beautiful reading it's so so much about leaving a toxic energy with the energy of the sex of swords and that's why you were so drawn to smoky quartz because this is a perfect crystal for clearing out negativity yeah mm, making sure that you cleanse your cleanse your space cleanse your mind and this is what you really need right now it's it's like it's affecting your mental health it's affecting you it's affecting your well-being and here i'm seeing you guys getting so much better so much better because you're leaving you choose to leave you choose to withdraw you choose you So for a lot of you guys, you're leaving your job, you're leaving a place where you are. Because you're just like, you're fed up with the whole thing. You're like, you know what, I'm done. I'm done. Mm -hmm. And the interesting thing is, guys, is that you find a lot of money. You find a lot of money where you're going to go. It's um, kind of the universe's way of pushing you towards wealth. 
for the Ten of Pentacles. Health, wealth and abundance. And you find it through family. Your family. Through harmonious family relationships. And such a beautiful journey because along the way you find yourself. Gorgeous, yeah. A lot of you guys are going to be able to move abroad within the next um, two to three months. An opportunity arises because you're being pushed out of this toxic uh, environment. And the, synchronistically, the, you will see maybe a job opportunity that's abroad or in another city. But for a lot of you, I see abroad. And it's going to lead. So you become incredibly wealthy. And I mean wealthy, guys. Over a long, to, a long period of time, of course, yeah? Because wealth accumulates. So it's not going to be over like <laughs> over a week. But um, these two months are very important in this journey. Because not only are you finding wealth, but you're finding love as well. The energy of new beginnings, the energy of feeling very lighthearted. I see a bit of joy over here, guys. That decision that you're going to be making within the next two months to leave all of that rubbish behind, it leaves you so much happier. It leaves you so much freer. It opens up a lot of things because in the future, to be quite honest with you, option number three, I see you doing a lot of things that... Um, bring joy to you and to other people it could be charity it could be um, performing arts and you've healed a very very important block that had to do with money and had to do with love because for you guys, option number three, it feels like you not seeing your worth, you not seeing your value was preventing you from A, building good lasting relationships and B, earning money. Because you were always questioning yourself. There was always a voice at the back of your head saying that, uh, you know, this is not going to work. Do you really think that this is going to happen for you? Uh, and so on and so forth, you know, all of those. All of those things that were untrue. And here on this beautiful journey, you learn to let go of those things by choosing you. And it's just an example of how something that we decide to do today affects us long term. You guys are the perfect example today for today's reading. Option number three. But because here the cards are showing you like new beginnings. New beginnings that make you feel... Very liberated, very happy. Mm -hmm. But they're saying that, yeah, the false. It's like the structure of um, who you thought you were is going to crumble. Because here I'm hearing like, let that mo mother F burn, yeah? It's just like, whatever. It wasn't really tr the truth anyways. It wasn't really me anyways. And here you're propelling, propelling forward. And for a lot of you, you're going to be living in a completely different place, guys. In a completely different place with completely different energies the chariot yeah look at this victory moving forwards the energy of the two sevens overcoming a lot of things in your life overcoming a lot of fears in your life being able to move forward 
both in your career and in your love life exactly good is the lovers a lot of you are going to be finding your future spouse your future partner through this energy of travel through this energy of travel maybe you guys were drawn to option number two as well hey the star yeah it's um everything that's going to be happening within the next two months and then of course from then on onwards they're telling me it's something that's predestined and here you're going to be meeting somebody that you're destined to be with just by making a conscious decision to get out of a toxic relationship situationship environment because this combination, it's magical. Truly is magical. Because here you're meeting somebody who gives you hope, who makes you feel rejuvenated. But you needed that tower moment. You needed that tower energy. But the rewards over here are completely worth it. Completely worth it. All right, lovely option number three. This is where I'm going to end your reading, darlings. Hope you enjoyed it and it resonated. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you're up for a personal reading, send me an email. And of course, don't forget to check Patreon out with over 90 exclusive videos, additional discounts on personal readings, and much, much more. So make sure to take a look. All right, my darlings, take care of your beautiful selves now.